Here I am outside the estate, just walking around the perimeter, and I thought, what a lovely place that is. And I re then I realized I live there. That's wormwood on the left, silver wormwood, very drought resistant. The red is japonica, Japanese quince, or known as kinomalies nowadays, I think. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Has edible fruits. I've done uh, videos on the edible fruits. And they also attract honey eating birds because the flowers have some honey a little bit, enough to make the birds come back several times a day. And you can hear the bees, of course. And that's an almond tree still in bloom up above. Beautiful almond blossom. Look, each almond flower has a star in the middle, if you look carefully. There's a star in the middle of every almond flower. If you look carefully, you'll always find it. A beautiful star. Lovely almond blossom, anyway. It's nice to stand outside one's property and look into it, and you get a different perspective. I was hunting for daisies, but I found these lovely trees, and I thought, who lives in that wonderful place? And I realized I did. Look at those beautiful almond blossoms. So lovely. If you follow the petal path, the path of petals, you'll eventually come to the almond tree. You will. All those petals, it'll lead you to the almond trees. And the almond blossoms. Japonica, flaming red Japonica, and the almond blossoms, all grown from a seed, just from a nut from the fruit shop. And the buzz of bees in spring, well, it's almost spring. Of course, almonds bloom a little bit before plums and all those sorts of things, so late winter, really, almonds. So beautiful. And there's the star in, in the center of each almond blossom. Look, a five-pointed star, perfect, at the center of every almond blossom. The center of the universe, of course. Five points. Lovely almond blossom. Just follow the petal path, that's all you have to do. Just follow the petal path. And you'll get there in the end, to the almond blossom and the five-pointed star. You will.